What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about what is hoovering by a narcissist or a toxic person or whoever you've broken up with. What does hoovering mean? Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. A lot of people ask me, what does a hoover from a narcissist look like? What is, what is a hoover? And of course, if you're near, I'm actually a diagnosed narcissist. So to me, hoovering from a narcissist or by a narcissistic person is any unwanted contact after the discard or the breakup. Any kind of text messages out of nowhere, any kind of emails, phone calls, popping up at your job, popping up at your place of residence, popping up, popping up at your house, anywhere like that. Hoovering is trying to suck you back into a relationship by any means possible. So what I mean by any unwanted contact, it could be bad contact as well, y'all. They could come over here and flatten your tires and hope, hoping, hoping that you will reach out to them and ask, ask them, did they do it? They are trying to get back into your life by any means possible and some narcissistic people will take it to the, the next level. So any unwanted contact from that person, the narcissistic person, their family, their friends, anybody like, anybody like that is a form of a hoover, y'all. Stay safe. Mm. So welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so what is hoovering by a narcissist or a toxic person? So like I said in the short video, hoovering or trying to suck you back into a relationship. That term, was, I think it was coined, coined by, uh, it might have been Sam Vaknin. I'm not 100% certain. But any, it means like the Hoover vacuum cleaner, like trying to suck, like Hoover, like Hoover vacuum cleaners suck up the dirt, suck up anything in, in its path. Hoovering by a narcissist or a toxic person, whoever it is, means that they're trying to suck you back into a relationship, suck you back into a, not necessarily an intimate relationship, but suck you back into whatever connection that y'all had, suck you back into allowing them access to your life. Any unwanted contact, any, any, y'all, any, Lee, uh, my, my ex sent me a, uh, start getting his, get, start getting his mail addressed to my house. Is that a Hoover? Any unwanted contact, Lee, my uh, my narcissistic ex, man, she uh, sent me a birthday card, man. Do you think there's a form of Hoover? Any unwanted contact, any narcissistic people, y'all, toxic people, whoever, no, no limitations when it comes to trying to Hoover you back into a relationship space with them, back into a relationship dynamic with them, whatever it is, y'all, any type of unwanted contact. But the way a narcissistic person's mind works, y'all, this is the way to think about it. They think that, like, if they, this is how narcissists think. They think if they reach out to you, if they are just consistently bat beating you down with communication, if they're consistently trying to contact you, that is them showing you love. But for you, it's unwanted contact. You don't want to contact, you don't want to deal with this person anymore. You're done with this person. You no longer want to have any type of communication with this person at all. So now it's just not them reaching out to you. It's a Hoover. Then there is, it could be, uh, it could be harassment in some cases. It could absolutely be harassment because any unwanted contact, um, for anybody else, they would consider that harassment. You know what I mean? They would absolutely consider that harassment by any, like in the courts and stuff like that. Just like, well, y'all have been broken up for, Y'all been broken up for how long? Uh, f seven months. Uh, I've not responded to any emails. I've not responded to any text messages, but they keep calling. They keep sending me mail. They keep sending me gifts. Yeah, y'all, gifts are a form of a Hoover as well. Like any type, like any unwanted contact, a gift, a happy birthday that you didn't ask for. If y'all are not in communication with each other, a gift, a happy birthday, something along those lines, you know, something like that. Any type of unwanted contact is literally a form of a hoover. Y'all, they're trying to suck you back into a relationship space. They're trying to violate your boundaries. They're trying to violate who you are, or they don't care. They don't care about what you think. They they think that they know better. They think they know what you want more than what you know what you want. You know, they think like I'm just keep reaching out to you because like you 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 don't know what you want so much that. You are just foolishly let foolishly letting me leave. You're foolishly letting me go because you don't really know what you want. You know what I mean? You don't really know what you're looking for. You don't really know what you want in life. You don't really know anything. 
So you let me let me talk to you. Any unwanted form of contact, y'all. Narcissistic people hate being rejected and they hate relationships ending, but they hate relationship ending when it's not on their terms. Like if you break up with them and they're not ready for you to break up with them, some of them will absolutely lose their minds. Some of them will lose their minds. Some of them will go, some of them will go crazy. Some of them will just absolutely go berserko. Because they think this is how narcissist mind works, y'all. And I'm pretty sure y'all probably already know a bit of this. Is they think because you're not with them anymore, because you don't want to be with them anymore, they think that you are trying to be with somebody else. That's immediately where the mind goes. If you're not if you're not with me, you're automatically trying to be with somebody else. So they feel like they need to hoover you or keep some type of contact with you in order to stay relevant in your life, in order to stay relevant in your space. They will do what y'all, they will do whatever it takes. News, they'll, they'll subscribe to newsletters. They'll start sending you emails from fake email addresses. They'll start, they'll create fake dating profiles to try to see if you're on there. They will try to hunt you out any unwanted contact. And it might, to some people, to the untrained eye, it might seem sweet. Right. It might seem like they're just being sweet and kind and caring with you and doing and reaching out to you. It might seem sweet to you. Right. It's sweet because they keep reaching out to you. They, they, nobody's ever nobody's ever sh showed this much effort before. We all have broken up. So maybe this person is different. Maybe they really want to be different. Maybe they really want to change. No, y'all. They don't really want to change. They want the only thing that they want to change in this relationship is you leaving. You haven't you having the ability to leave them. So they're going to keep doing stuff to keep you there, y'all. They're going to keep doing stuff to keep you with them. They're going to keep doing stuff to keep you bound to them, to keep you binded to bound to them in this toxic relationship space. And the, yeah, it doesn't get better. If you like, they will try to hoover you by any means necessary. Like I did a video, I got to find it, but it was the, you know, 14 different ways a narcissist might hoover you. It was some crazy ways like emails, snail mail, you know what I mean? Drop it, pop it up at your house, pop it up at your job, pop it up on a, follow, following you to work, following you on the, to the gym, following you on a walking trail, follow you on a bike ride. You mean, it always has a stalk, it always has the, the, it seems like it always has the, the subtle undertones of stalker. You know what I mean? Because unwanted contact is pretty much stalking y'all. Let's get this. If we're going to keep it real, like we do on this channel, any unwanted contact is pretty stalkery. You know what I mean? They're, they're pretty much stalking you. So that's what hoovering is. If y'all ever see the term hoovering pop up, that's what people mean. Like the narcissist, they're trying to suck you back into a relationship or trying to violate your boundaries and get back into your life in some way, shape, or form. So don't get hoovered. Hoovered. Don't get hoovered, y'all. Protect your peace. Priest. Protect your peace. Protect yourself. And of course, like and subscribe if you haven't. Mental illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video, y'all. If you didn't know, we wrote a kid's book called Remember It's Not Your Fault to help kids understand that they are not in control of whatever circumstances they were born into, talk about boundaries, tell them the truth, all of that stuff, y'all. It's available on Amazon right now or the link in my description of every single video or podcast that you listen to. Thank you so much. Remember, it's not your fault. Peace.